Roger Newman with Summersong Forge. Thank you for clicking on this video. I've been at this for 27 years and wanted to show you our seven foot bumper pull inside and out. So on the front end of the trailer, which involves so many of the importance of how a trailer tows its strength, our choice of LP tanks and how they're on the exterior of the trailer for safety. Um, we use a TIG weld, which we every weld is all just naked. You can see its quality. We also have a marine base enamel finish that we've applied for this custom trailer and it will keep and fossilize the aluminum and it will stay shiny for a long time. Our frames are six inch C channel. We gusset all of the apexes. We now use a standard two wheel jack to support the extra weight. We have the DOT breakaway system here, which is required. We like this coupler, the strongest coupler that we could find. This was a custom order, forge arms, tool slides, the basic standard package. She wanted some extra fans. She's short, she wanted to pull down for the doors. So we're putting the pull downs in. So as we come out round to the rear, you can see the internal gutter system internally, and then the release of the rain goes out through these outside holes. That's kind of a unique to any trailer that I've ever seen. Now this is your working position as a farrier. In this case, she wanted to use a stump, an anvil. The stump and the anvil would sit on the rear floor. You, inside, you've got shoe racks built in. When your equipment is down, these racks are all available for shoes. You've got a two systems, an upper and a lower, which gives you 10 feet of shoe rack per drawer. So she'll have a toolbox up on the deck, her anvil, her anvil stump and her shoeing box will be rear. And then she's got this canopy for her when it's raining. Uh, that's why we, you know, we keep a large rear door and it's vertical right over her head. Very nice A-frame design, tows beautifully, and tracks with the vehicle for safety. Just showing some of the drawers that we've put in below deck, which is really handy for storage. Again, another side door. We gusset all, everything and fold all of our door edges. We like an A-frame design so that it tows well and it's very light. These hold this trailer by itself would probably weigh 1,800 pounds. Just finishing out some of our standard features is the electrical package that we put in in the standard features list. We have the four flex in each corner in the front. We've now gone to LED lighting, one on each side. We've got another four flex in the corner and then a light switch that operates everything with one pigtail. I wanted to show you a quick view of our optional forge arm, which is very nice to handle, very easy to handle. It has a road rest. Your forge would be mounted here, welded to these plates. The legs would be welded. I usually suggest to count, cut the le rear legs off so you have a better view into the forge. So it would come off, swing to the corner. You have your bulkhead fitting here for your gas line, and this comes up to this road position, or to this position for work behind. And a, just a beautiful tool to work out of and a nice calling card. I hope you'll use us when you think about your next trailer. Thank you.